To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Ozan and accept the quest. After the conversation, click on the trap door in the small building and choose the third chat option. Once in, speak to Noom and choose the chat options on screen. After that conversation, head outside and speak to Ozen. Choose the first chat option for both prompts. You will now have to follow Noom to his hideout. Go ahead and maintain some distance between you and him. Not too close, but not too far. you will eventually be led into the jail. Go ahead and enter said jail. You will get a cutscene. You will now confront Noom. Go ahead and choose the chat options on screen. Now the dialogue is actually pretty funny, so feel free to read it if you wish. After the conversation, exit the jail and head directly south. And speak to any of the NPCs for a cutscene.
After the cutscene, you will now be engaged in combat. Now they scale to your level and they're very easy, so do not worry. Once you slay the last one, go ahead and pick up the note. You will now start a conversation with the NPCs. Now it's very important that you pay attention to this dialogue, as Leela will give you a passphrase, which I believe is different for every player. So in my case, this is my passphrase. It'll most likely be different from yours, so go ahead. Take a screenshot, write it down or something, as you will need it later. After receiving the passphrase, click on the first option to accompany Ozan to al -Karid. Ozan will now follow you. Go ahead and run to the al palace, or you could use the lodestone network and head directly into the palace. It's the same outcome regardless. Once there, the palace door will be closed, but speak to the Alcarid guard. So head northeast into the crafting shop and climb up the steps. You will now have to scale several buildings and obstacles. Climb up the ladder. Walk across the planks of the south. Now in case you click on an obstacle and your character is not responding, you will first have to wait for Ozan to cross the same obstacle. Slide down the awning to the south. Enter the room to the north and walk across the clothing line. Climb the ladder to the west. Cross the plank to the west. And climb up the ladder. Jump from the scaffolding to the west. Climb down the rug to the south. And swing across the wooden frame to the west. Jump from the scaffolding to the south.
bound on the awning to the south. Climb up the brickwork. Click on the flagged obstacle in the center and click on the leave it to Ozen option. And click on the bricks beside you to start a cutscene. After the cutscene, head up the brickwork. Now just to your south, you will find an open window. Go ahead and click on it to break into the building. Before we proceed, make sure you have that passphrase Leela gave you. Now this next part's a little tricky to explain, so I'll try to do my best. Next go ahead and inspect the head scales. In this little puzzle, you'll have to determine which one is the heaviest of the statues. This is a sort of order of eliminations. While I can't tell you exactly what to do, since our variables will be different, so go ahead and drag the first six statues onto the platform here, as I do. Then click on the center gem, which by the way, you only get two tries. Now if both sides rocked parallel to each other, up and down, then these statues are the same weight and is not the heavy one we're looking for. But if you had both sides swinging differently, then obviously the side that rocked downwards has the heavy statue that we're looking for. You'll have to remove and add more statues to determine which one is the heavy one. Take for example my puzzle. They were the same, so obviously the heavy one is one of those three remaining. So I removed one from each side and added two of the three. And boom, I now know which one is the heavier statue. But also, if they rocked parallel to each other again, then that just means that the absolute last one is the heavier one of course. Again, this won't be the, your exact solution, but the idea is the same. Order of eliminations. Once you've figured out the heavy one, drag it into your bag on the top left corner. With that out of the way, place your weight on the Carib Ib display just to your north. You will now receive a cutscene.
This is the part where you choose the passphrase that Leela gave you. The cutscene will now continue. You will be presented with another chat option. You can go ahead and choose either option. The outcome is the same. And quest complete.